Here in Photoshop, there are a number of things I want to do. I want to make sure the skin tone variations are all sitting in the same hue of color I want. I'll obviously color grade again with Photoshop LUTs I have available on my web store. Link in the description. Do a few healing with respect to clean stamping the hair to fill the frame. Make sure the skin blemishes are taken out. Make sure we are color grading, like I said. Make sure tonal variations are set and right just so that we can have a very pleasing and a very pleasing image generally okay so what i want to do is to play out an action that's free on my web store hue check layer i learned this from pixin perfect so i'm going to select hue saturation i'm going to relabel this to correction and what I'll do is to pick any color. And what I'll do is to move everything to 100. Currently, this has selected the reds. And by selecting the reds, you can see different colors around the skin selection. You can see, obviously, this is more into the green than the cyan. And the selection for the reds are showing visible signs of light cyan. So what I want to do is to move the hue just so that these weird colored colors on the skin are the only ones selected. So I'm going to limit the range and I'll move it towards the right, away from the reds. And by moving it away from the reds, you can see our yellows are selected. I'm going to double tap, double tap so that everything resets to zero. I have that yellows selected. I'll turn on the hue check layer. By turning on the hue check layer, I can also tell, right? Now, a chunk of the skin tone sits in the purple range. And this purple range has different tones one which is brighter and one which is darker the highlighted parts which have no color will probably tend to be way 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 darker the darker parts will be brighter so therefore i'm going to turn on this is already turned on right we're going to move the hue of what we selected towards the reds and because this is sitting in the yellows i'm going to move it towards the reds and take a look at the yellowish selected parts Right. Currently, we have it sitting in the same range of the purple we saw earlier. So this is before that and this is after that. I'm going to toggle the check layer off so that you can see what's happening before and after. Let me zoom in. Before and after. We're not going to keep it drastically like this. I am going to reduce the opacity to 48. I'll delete the check layer and I'll leave it here. Beautiful. Okay, the next thing I want to do is to match the color on the skin to any part which doesn't have the same color. So the neck area is sort of discolored this as a result of being dark. When a lot of skin is packed at one point, it loses its color. So what I would do is to create a new empty layer, rename this to color and I'll change the blending mode to color. Make sure I pick my brush flow at five. I'm using, I'm using a graphics tablet so I've turned on my pressure sensitivity, smoothing at zero and hold option and I'll sample a part of the skin. I feel I want to see that. So I think I'll pick this area which has both metals, highlights, shadows, darks. It gives me a very good representation. Increase my brush size, make sure it's a soft round pressure opacity and flow brush. Then I'll paint over the neck. Make sure I paint over this side too. Maybe a little bit over here and over here and here. I'm going to select this side and paint over this side of the hair too. Let's reduce and do that. Not too much. 
let's do that for the hair to the black side i think it's not helping okay so if i should zoom in click before and after we can see that fix select again and paint over the neck here and here too okay we're good to go on that front next thing i want to do is to color grade i'm going to hit color lookup table go pick up one of my lookup tables for dark skin melanin this first one has a hint of blues if you remember me talking about color grading in capture one i did mention that having some blues in or on the skin brings out or pops out the melanin it's a trick i've taught quite a number of people so i'm going to reduce this to T35, pick brush, flow and opacity 100, black on white, then I'll paint it out of the lips because I don't need it on the lips, I don't need it on the eye shadow, alright, and definitely out of the background because it's sort of affecting the background. I know some of the skin will be affected so let's paint it back okay you have this looking like this one last thing I'm going to pick up color balance do some mid-tone adjustments so cyan and in the shadows, I'll add some blues, not too much. Blues and some reds before and after. These are very subtle adjustments. I bet they wouldn't be needed, but they help sending the message in the right direction. Okay, so I'll group this. Rename this to fix and we are good to go. Following this would have been me healing the next to dodging and burning. So be because I want to cut down the time and I don't want it to be too much time, which will obviously end up in too much time. We're going to use a plugin from Retouch for me where I'm going to use a heal the mattifier dodge and burn whitening teeth and cleaning the backdrop what i want you to pay attention to is the mattifier is going to reduce the amount of highlights you're seeing over here the heel will obviously remove all the blemishes and white teeth will whiten the teeth i don't have my eyes open so i'm going to leave it there and this is going to clean the backdrop and with the dodge and burn you can equally select the amount you want the, the amount of blend you want same with the mattifier i'm going to keep the mattifier at 20 because at exaggerated amount it is too much on the image so this is a cloud retouch version for the retouch for me panel available on adobe creative cloud and even on retouch for me's website it's link in the description box below if you want to enjoy using retouch for me at a discounted price i think 35 percent off every price just because we are starting Black Friday. So jump upon that opportunity now and enjoy Retouch for me. Or you can use them on the device. If you already have them on a device and you don't want to use a Cloud Retouch, I think, how many do I have? I do have, let's check it out. Filter, Retouch for me. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So Mattifier, Heal dodge and bend these are the most important ones for me so but i want to show you how the cloud one works so heal much fire dodge and bend white teeth clean backdrop let's hit on retouch and let's see what work it does let's just wait for it to run through cloud send an image to cloud enhance run whatever it has to do i'm not going to use this as a complete fix it's just helping me step up my retouch and game it's reducing the work time that i have been complaining about i did mention earlier that i have become very lazy and this is taking me a lot of energy to retouch 
just because I have to think a lot and do quite a lot, which I don't want to actually. So let me run you through what's happening. Clean backdrop. I mean, there's nothing to clean. Heal has taken away all the blemishes on the skin. Whiten teeth or white teeth whitening. Mattifier, as you can see, it's work happening. And dodging and burning. I have a video about dodging and burning which explains the processes in which we dodge and burn. I'm going to show you what's happening here. This has the features of a new empty layer filled with 50% grey. Then they used the blending mode has been changed to soft light and they use white and black brushes to dodge and burn places just so that the luminosities can match. And that's what you're seeing over here open the face and everything on okay very very beautiful my work has been cut down for me let me rename this to retouch for me make sure everything is okay let me open this side rename this to color grading color grading that's yeah Right after that, I'm going to play my dodging and bending action just to quicken the process. Right, hit on play, dodge and bend quicker. As you can see, I have two checker layers. One is a black and white check layer, and the other is an inverted black and white check layer. To make sure you have a very good retouch, right? After running all the softwares, this is better. This is without anything done. This can solve for what you want. It can be pushed out to the person you're working with. It's good on its own. Sending it a step further is where I come in as a retoucher because I want to personalize it myself. So I'm going to open this dodge and burn and reduce it a little bit. 65 should be fine for me. The mattifier will obviously go down a tad bit more. Whitening the teeth. Let's make it realistic. So this is fine and we are good to go. I'll turn on the black and white, turn off the curve and I'll show you what we should be looking out for. So with dodging and burning, what we are basically doing is highlighting the darkest parts of the image and darkening the brightest parts of the image not really really the brightest parts let me use the reverse check i mean the inverted check layer for this particular explanation if you can tell every skin tone has its tonal variation if you pay close attention to the let me create a new layer pick a brush make sure we're using any other color aside from white okay pay what did i just do all right pay attention to Kindly pay attention to this part of the image. I think this is too dark. Let's pick a brighter one. Yellow should be fine. Okay. Pay attention to this part of the image. If you look at this, we have sort of a brighter area over here and we have darker areas compared to this brighter area. The dodging and bending method I will be using is to make sure this area and this area are uniform. They don't look so separate from each other. The most drastic ones will obviously be where the distinctions would be, sorry. Paying close attention to the cheek. The cheek is the highlighted area. Because we are using an inverted check layer, it will look black and the darker areas will look white our job is to make sure that the transition from the white into the dark which is inverted for 
the darkest part into the brightest part seems smoothless and doesn't have all these imperfections if i should again make this a little bit darker taking a closer look at this you can see that there are some patches here which don't look uniform same as the patches here which don't look uniform same as the patches even in the highlights which don't look uniform if we go here too we can see different variations of darks and white and white and darks and darks our job is to make sure that transitions smoothly after explaining that this is what i will do so let's turn this check layer off the help layer we were using earlier turn this off turn this back on open our brush to pick a brush i'll use two percent flow make sure i have white on black this is what's happening in the curve for the dodge this is what's happening in the curve for the bend i'm mostly using inverted check layers for dark skin just because it makes the work easier so if i paint burn here it will increase the white if i paint dodge it will decrease the white so i'm going to pick up dodge i just want to show you what i mean by darkening and brightening when i turn this check layer off you can clearly tell there's a darker part to that part of the skin and there's a brighter part to that part of the skin i am about to reduce the luminosity of the darker part by dodging that area instead of me burning that area so i'll turn on the check layer let's increase the brush size make sure pen pressure is turned on so get yourself a graphics tablet and gently paint to reduce that bright in that dark area and whilst you're doing that simultaneously you tend to also adjust the darker patches to match that area also so it's a back and forth between darker patches and brighter patches it takes too much time and that's why i hate doing it these days okay let's toggle off and on off and on off and on i did this just so you could see what i'm talking about so off and on off and on and that's basically what you are going to do in the overall edit of this particular image in as much as um, retouch for me has done some job for us there's quite a lot more to do so here i go
after the match needed dodging and burning which took a lot a lot of time and to be very honest this is where i could get it to if i had spent more time i would have wasted more time and the video would have been very very long i just want to keep it here this is me having my first attempt coming back and doing retouching with just dodging and burning and when i get back into the game and when i keep on doing it i think it comes back all of a sudden again and again and again and i'm back to where i decided to run away from all right so i would sort of blame the camera i used for this with respect to how it's dealing with the blacks and the whites and how the dodging and burning has sort of increased and reduced some saturation on the skin okay so i'm going to go into the dmb quick quickly select hue saturation layer clip to this then select another one and clip to that right so with this for the dodge i'm going to select this part because i tried dodging this part right i'm making sure it's just the red selection i want on the skin and i'll send it all the way down and when i do that you see some parts of the image has lost color as desaturated so with that in mind i'm going to keep the saturation down because i am trying to bring the color back I and mean, i'm trying to increase the luminosity hence which bumps up the color so take a look at this it's very subtle all right and with the pen same thing make sure i'm selecting okay that's not a burnt area i'm going to increase just so you see where they are and then i'll reduce to a point where i feel every bent part is well saturated all right let's see before and after let's bring it down a notch let's do 22 so i'm going to delete these check layers and or better still let me show you how they look you guys saw from the initiation how this way i'm going to because it's a dark skin it's going to blow out let me do this all right before the dodge and bend and after the dodge and bend before the dodge and bend and after the dodge and bend so take a look at the transitions for the midtones the highlights the shadows and this is what i mean by an easy flow of or easy transition of highlights and shadows there's a few i'll need to smudge in i mean you never stop dodging and burning because the moment you take your eyes off and you come back you would see some things to fix which goes to say that take breaks when you're retouching and make sure you don't stare at the screen for too long because when you do you mess out all these issues and when you figure out these issues you spend more time fixing what you're trying to correct okay all right so there we have that i'm going to delete the checklist again and basically this is what we've been able to do with the dodging and burning i'm going to make a few other adjustments with respect to the skin color again make sure flow at five 
I'll select this part of the skin because if you take a look at this, this looks sort of saturated and bright compared to this. I know there are luminosity changes, but I feel they are on the same forehead and they should have the same saturation values. So I'm going to paint over here and do the same thing over here too. Alright, let's see a quick one, before, after, before and after. For the retouch for me, I'm going to make another adjustment here. Make sure this is sample or layers. Then I'll clean the ear, clean the ear gap for the earring. It's a little bit distracting for me and this over here let's pick the clothes down too and fill the hair all right i love this i will create a noise adjustment do 10 invert it check to see if it's doing what i want it to do by adding texture to blurred areas and more texture to the skin. So this is what the this is why I didn't add sharpening to this. Right, I forgot something. I think when I undid the adjustment on the heel layer, all these came back. So I'm going to redo them. Okay, and there we have this image before and after, before and after. One last time, before and after. So the more I come back to retouching with Dodging and Ben and the more everything comes back to me and the more I get to see the problems I want to see and the more I fix them. So this is how I'll go about editing and retouching in Photoshop. Check down in the link box below or in the description box below a link to 35% off retouch for me. Any product you buy from retouch for me, you get 35% off using the link in the description box below. Make sure you abuse it from the 25th of November, which starts today. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.